Hi everyone, this is Nataraj. In this video, I am going to talk about that Postgres SQL setup on Google Cloud SQL with the Terraform. What is the Google Cloud SQL? The Google Cloud SQL is a fully managed database service that makes it can easy to set up, maintaining, managing and administrator your relational database on Google Cloud platform. I remember that, that those days when we used to go through the so much parameter settings in that the database instant on the VM such as that uh, HA, scalability, security and backup and monitoring. So the cloud SQL is here is to take away from the all the hassles. So let us use the database with the simplicity manner. Supported the database, there is a various uh, DB engine is supported in cloud SQL. MySQL, PostgreSQL and that SQL servers. So in this videos we are going to cover about that PostgreSQL only. There is a major version supported by that cloud SQLs. At the time of recording this videos the PostgreSQL 15 is that by default. One of the important thing when the cloud SQL is intended to send that end support for the specific major versions with a notification for the project manager uh, 12 months before head. Some key advantage of using the managed post SQL with cloud SQL. The first one is that build in high availability with automatic failover. So in the case of an outage, the database instance will automatically fail over to that another zone. Next one is that provide the vertical and horizontal scaling options. For vertical scalability means you can increasing the compute resource allocating to that your instance for Horizontal scaling means we are adding the more DB instance. Next one is that provide the security features like network isolations, encryption at rest, including for fine grain control access. So we can able to restrict in that access for that each individual accounts. So that is one of the major advantage in the security sites. Next one is that the seamless integration with various Google Cloud service such as Kubernetes engines and a compute engine, etc. Yeah, we can able to integrate with the various uh, applications based on that application needs. Next one is that integrating with the Google Cloud monitoring and the logging service. So the Google monitoring is collecting the metrics and the events and metadata from the G GCP. Cloud logging is allow you to store such analysis and monitoring and alert on that logging data. Next one is that automatic backup and the point in the time recovery. It is possible to restore the database at the specific point in the time. Architecture diagram. So in this video, I am going to provisioning that cloud SQL Postgres uh, through Terraform. First, I am going to enable that APIs. After that, I am going to provision on that cloud SQL. So this is the model I am going to cover on these videos. So we will moving to the Visual Studio code and we can see the Terraform code one by one. We are at the Visual Studio code. Already I cloned my source code from my repository. This code is available from globally. You can clone from any time. You can see the file one by one. The first one is that main.tl file. The first resource is that we are going to enable the APIs. Uh, you can see here the cloud admin.googleapi.com so basically this APIs provide the REST API for administration for your instant programmatically. The next resource is that again we are enabling that APIs. So cloud component googleapi.com. It's provide the VPC access. Next resource is that again we are enabling that APIs. Uh, service networking googleapis.com it mainly used for the VPC peering so in my case I'm I did not using any VPC peering but uh, I'm just I'm providing the provisions for my future upcoming videos but we can uh, ignoring this particular APS also the next resource is that time underscore sleep it is to delay the creations of the resource you can see here I'm using the dependent on that uh, first the three APS enabled then only I'm going to allow with the next creation of finished resource so basically what will happen, the API enable will take some time. So immediately we can spin up the next resource now, it will be throwing the error. So that was a major reason I am delaying the service for the creations. Here you can see I think the creation duration I am set as that 30 seconds. Next resource is that Google SQL database instance. 
here uh, i'm going to create that um, postgres the first one is that naming of that my postgres instance i defining the variables the name coming from the variable you can see here uh, the postgres primary and defining the name of that my instance and going back to main.ti file then database version uh, the database version is at the time of recording is at uh, by default is a 15 i'm getting the variable from variables so i can show here the postgres underscore 15 site defined then i go back to main.ti file you can see it in the regions so the regions also i defined from the variables so you can see here i us central one only i'm defined going back to main.ti file so deletion provisions i make it false so using these options we are deploying with the error form um, if you are uh, enabling the deletion provision is so true you can won't able to de destroy in the instance with the terraform destroyed command so i make it false i can able to destroy this uh, the postgres anytime next one is the settings so this is a tire uh, basically this is a, a defining the instant types so this is also the variable coming from variables um, you can see here uh, db f1 micro i defined so this is you can based on that yeah, you can define with that uh, instant types based on your applications uh, usage so this is a demo instance i'm going to cover with that uh, minimum one then i'm going back to main.tf file uh, you can see here the disk is i am allocating for 10 the disk type is that i'm solid state uh, uh, drives i'm allocated here you can choose a different types is it depends upon that your application usage next one is that ip configurations. Uh, here I'm using that IPv4 enable equal to true. Basically, I'm allocating that public IP address to this uh, Postgres SQL instance. Next one is that next one is that authorized networks. So the naming allocating for all underscore networks. Um, even I'm providing that 000 slash 0 means it can globally allowing this instance to that uh, world. So next one is the deployment on and enabling the all the APIs and that time underscore that is sleeps. So once it will be completed, then only it going to create this Postgres instance. Next one is the output resource. So once this uh, Postgres is created, I can display in that public IP address of the uh, console output. Next file is the provider TF file. The provider basically used to interacting with the GCP. You can see the credentials already I defining my that uh, service accounts I provide necessity permission so that I can able to create that Postgres instance I defining the projects uh, where I am hosting this Postgres applications that value coming from variables the region and the zones I defining here so yeah we can move into the terminal we can executing this terraform operations I just I click the three dot then you can go to the new terminal first we have to go to executing the terraform init command now initializing that my all the plugins is completed then again i am executing the terraform plan command to validate my entire syntax as well as that my calling method yes the plan also succeeded you can again going to add the file resource there is a no zero changes no destroys okay again i can going to executing the terraform apply command to provisioning this postgres instance yes it asking the user input so i am providing that yes now the creation is going on it will be completing that uh, within the 10 minutes Terraform operation successfully completed. My output resource should be displaying that the primary IP address of my instance. So you can see here. Um, then we are moving to the GCP console to validate our the Postgres instance. 
we are at the chrome browser so already i log into the gcp console uh, using my credentials so i choosing my project uh, my testings then i can click that uh, navigation menu uh, you can go to that sql yeah you can see here this name of the instant proscris primary is uh, created successfully it be showing here just i am clicking this instant id to elaborate this entire thing yeah in this page uh, you can see the configurations of the db uh, i am cpu allocating one core uh, memory is at 614 mb the storage ssd i am defined as that 10 gb so you can see the entire thing the versions also the 15 whichever i defined it became then you can see the connections so this is a network settings so i am authorized to allow the globally so this data is also visible here then you can see the user sections it be by default it be created from postgres but i haven't defined any user creation so far a mapping video i can create with that user and associated with that corresponding database i can show to you in soon next one is the backup option so these are the things i haven't defined here so right now is automation backup is disabled yeah so i hope uh, this video will be useful to everyone thanks for watching bye